Today we're shooting on a roll of Kodak's Ultramax 400. I found this at my local Walgreens, pretty inexpensive. Didn't want to spend too much, just in case I messed up again. If you know, you know, go watch my last video. But anyways, I think I figured out the problem with my last roll of film. Definitely did not load the film correctly. So this time I made sure to take a few test shots, make sure the film got caught before closing the back of the camera. I fully loaded that roll of film on the side of the street in Soho, which is why we're starting off downtown. Then I made my way to the East Village because I was meeting my friends Alex and Brayden for ramen at Marafuku Ramen. It was very delicious. So here's a shot of them with the food. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. So it's a few days, actually it's like a week or two later and I need to finish this roll because I am dying to get this developed. If you saw my last video, it didn't work out. So I've been waiting a long time to get film that actually comes out correctly. So during my lunch break today I'm gonna go to my favorite spot and just take some pictures and capture it but I'm currently wearing my pajamas so let's put on an outfit. Also I got a new camera if you couldn't tell. My clips from the beginning are very zoomed in because I had this 22 millimeter lens on my Canon M50. And I just wanted something that was convenient to carry but I ended up getting this Sony ZV-1 I'll show you. It is just the perfect size and Love the little mic. Just overall, so much more compact and had such good reviews that I had to get it. Anyways, I think I'm gonna wear these new jeans that I got. These are vintage Lee jeans from L Train Vintage and they're so soft. So let's put them on. Outfit is on, got my camera. These jeans literally fit so perfectly. Don't mind the mess on the floor. Also wanted to show you, I bought this new camera off of Etsy and new video is gonna be coming soon, obviously but it's an Olympus Infinity Stylus. I was using my Minolta that I talked about in like all of my other videos and the shutter button was just taking so long to focus. So I figured I'd treat myself and pick up this. I have been getting a lot of TikToks on my For You page about the Olympus Miju and this is the American equivalent. So I'm excited to test this out and tell you guys about it. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for this. very bright up today. I've pulled over here on the side of the road because this view is just very pretty. Yes. I love like pictures of long roads. You know? One reason why these are better than a point shoot is because you can take mirror selfies because there's no flash. So that's what I'm going to do. Before I show you the clips of me taking this shot, I wanted to show you what the actual result was. I had some issues, but I ended up getting the shot, which was really cool. I think there's at least four or five different exposures in this one frame. I could not tell you how I did it. It was definitely because I messed up when winding the film and reaching the end of the roll. But anyway, it looks really cool and I'm really obsessed with how this turned out. Uh-oh. No, why is it stuck? Uh-oh. Alright. 
just not, oh, that did not sound good. I don't like that. Okay, I totally realized this might be a roll of 24 and not 36, which is why it was being weird. So I'm gonna rewind it. Yep, 24. Perfect. I was in Soho the other day and I saw this film lab thing. So I'm going to go check it out. I have three rolls that I need to develop. And it's right next to the Allure store on Room and Lafayette. It's called the Color Lab and it looks really cool. I have the portrait roll from my last video that it's probably busted. The roll from this video and a black and white roll that I had from like freshman year of college that I never got developed because my local place doesn't take black and white. Also, it's so hot out. I'm literally so out of breath right now. And I'm also vlogging in public, which I never do. So this is interesting. The place was called Color House. It ended up being like 65 because there was a black and white roll in there. I think it was $5 more for the black and white, but she said it'll come back on Sunday. It's Friday right now, so not too bad for a turnaround time. It's Sunday and I ended up getting my roll of film back around 5 p.m. today. And you can see my reaction in the car of me getting my phone back. I was so excited because I opened the file and there ended up being a lot of pictures and I was really scared it wasn't gonna work, obviously, because of the last time. So my excitement was genuine and I loved how the pictures turned out. You obviously saw all the pictures from this video, but I also got a ton of pictures from my black and white roll from almost two years ago that I never got developed. I'll insert some of them here. It was a black and white roll and I totally forgot about it. So that is always the best feeling ever when you get pictures back that you totally forgot about and you get these memories back that you forgot about. Then I had six pictures from my Portra 400 roll that I thought was busted from my last video. There are definitely a lot of light leaks, but I'm glad I got something out of them and I'm really just obsessed with the colors of the Portra 400. So I need to get it and use it in a future video. It's just so expensive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun taking you guys along and editing this video too has been so much fun. And I hope to do more videos like this. So make sure to subscribe and comment and like. Also follow me on Instagram. I will be posting more film on there. I promise you. Bye.